Um, I've finished sealing the fins um, and they're rough at this point. So um, I'm going to take some fine grit sandpaper and I just want to smooth out the entire surface of the fin. Don't forget that leading edge and on the trailing edge you'll feel that it feels kind of like a little saw. So just go ahead and just lightly just take off that rough edge. and make a final inspection before you're done just to make sure that it's all smooth. If you can feel it with your finger, it's not smooth enough. And you may have to do a second coat of uh, the CA on there and then re-sand it. Um, but I typically just use one, but you can use two or more. Okay, my, my fins are sealed all three of them they're all smooth and uh, now it's time to glue it onto the tube um, the tool you can pull that out now um, that's no longer needed you can put that in your um, building supplies for another future rocket or turn it into a rocket <laughs> it's up to you uh, so this tube is done all we're going to do is put the fins on at this point and i'm going to use thick super glue because it's thick and it's not going to splatter, I'm not going to worry about wearing my goggles. Um, if you need help putting fins on, there are, are videos on the Apogee website, uh, particularly the guillotine fin alignment tool and other fin alignment fixtures. They really help. I'm just going to do a quick one right here. And so I put a layer of glue on and it always goes over the edges. So go ahead and wipe it off, but not on the edge itself, just where it overlapped. And you'll notice um, kind of the V where it's going to go overlap the transition. And I'm just going to hold it in place there for a second. I'm going to take some kicker or otherwise called accelerator. And you can spray it on, but I just like to put it on just a little bit at a time. That way your bottle lasts a lot longer. That's the first one. And it's stuck to my finger. So when that dries, I'm going to have to re sand that little part right there.
Um, if there's any gaps on your fins, go ahead and put a film fillet on. And I'm using thick CA glue here. to come back and sand that fillet because I don't like the way it looks. Okay, my fins are on, and I'm going to do a once over and sand down anything that needs to be sanded. Um, and then basically the tube is done, um, and then the next step is to attach the nose cone. Um, and I'll also show you some other techniques on attaching the shock cord, if you, haven't, if you already haven't attached the shock cord.